Hello! And welcome! And let me just turn the audio off before I get... Ah, I've turned it off. I'm doing good. Okay. Welcome to Evil Dead the Game. So, this is a another game in my series I'm doing right now. Which is... Is it dead? <laughs> really? Um, and the answer is... Well, let's find out. Uh, I just want to mention some of the things that have changed as the game's been released and time has passed. So one of the big things, they added extra missions, which again, these are extra challenges. You've got extra recordings. You've got more characters. So we've got this lady here. So Mia Allen, and she has some special rage ability, fear-based abilities, really. So the more scared she gets, the more damage she does. So it's a pretty interesting style of character for a warrior. And then you've got two new support. You've got David Allen, and he has some, some more healing stuff, and he uses an owl gun, and he also has um, an aura, which is interesting. And you've got the blacksmith, so he can only use melee weapons, can't use ranged weapons, but he can make them randomly, which I think is pretty bloody cool. So yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, and increases damage when he does an amulet. Okay, so, uh, the other thing that they added, which I think is really great, and I I want to applaud them for this. Uh, it's not the Screamer thing, which again, it's nice to have variation there. It's Prestige. They added a Prestige. So, the challenges are quite tough. I'm not sure if you have to do all of them to progress it, but probably. But each Prestige gives you an additional max level, so up to... You can be level 30, so that's an extra five skills you can allocate, which skills are pretty sparse, to be frank. Because you get your 25, and so to have the extra five, I think, you know, you could pump up your guns, or you could do more, you know, healing storage stuff, or some more fear resistance. So there's, and just some basic things. So yeah, this really good addition. I think it kind of makes... It makes me excited coming back to it. So uh, you've got exploration uh, versus player, all the normal stuff. So we've got, you know, just typical online multiplayer, trying to play as the demon. Um, you can versus AI, you can play solo, you can do a private match, invite people. So let's see if we can find a match. So it puts you here and then you press search for a match. So I don't know why it doesn't just search for a match. It's kind of weird. So the guy I'm playing, I'll play as Pablo here. But you can only, uh, you can't have two of the same character. So I think, I do like that. That it's kind of like Overwatch that, you know, everyone has to be unique on their team. So let's see if we can find a match. See if it's still alive. But yeah, what is Evil Dead? The the game is a survival horror type battling multiplayer game. So it's it's different to Friday the 13th in that it's a bit more deep in terms of, you know, you've got leveling up your character and you actually uh, have a skill tree and you have to make important decisions what you level. And the actual ranged, you know, you have ranged and melee combat. And all the combat's quite good. I think the strength of the game really, the combat. And the atmosphere, of course, and the music, and how it makes you feel, and and the the lore related to the movie. So I think it, it's, you know, it's truly representative in a lot of ways. Maybe not as zany, really. So let's grab me, boy Pablo. I appreciate something is out there. We've got a few hours before the sun comes out. So we've got some. So you, the, one of the things you do when you join a match is you look at the levels of your teammates and you go, ooh. So preferably you want them all level 25. And now that there's prestige, Good. you'd be thinking, oh, if we have level 26 or 27. I'm the guy with the gun. Uh, my character's support, so I'll be focusing mainly on shields. So I'm all about amulets, which are, give you a shield. You get a bar of shields, so. Yeah, so. Oh, Zaire's talking. And, uh, so I don't have talking on. Again, don't worry about that. But is it a fun game? Yeah, I really liked it. So I played it a lot on release. But it's a game that has, well, that's fairly put by Alex on Angry Joe Show. Uh, short shelf life, short lifespan. You know, it's all based on the community. 
but I got into a game pretty quick, so maybe there is a lot of people still playing it. Same happened with Friday the 13th and Predator Hunting Grounds. People still play them. So, you know, I think we're a bit too pessimistic about I don't have much time, so listen closely. games in the this community, but the graphics look great. The following are steps to be okay, taken so one of the things the Kandarian Demon player has to do... At your own hazard. Okay, so we just drop that. First step is to gather the pieces of a map that you'll find that. nearby. So I produce shields, that's my ability. Of the Necronomicon and but we've got to look around and we've got to find... Juice? Okay, that's great. That's actually a really, really good weapon for me. The spear, just great attack speed. Okay, so... So the Kandarian Demon is going to try and find us and kill us. And what he does is summons a whole bunch of dudes. And we battle him. So it's not too complicated in that aspect. Because he wants to wear us down. Ooh, I'll, I'll go I'll go for the sword. Just damage. Just go damage. No, I don't need an amulet. I'm fine. All good. All good. Let's investigate. So we're looking for... It tells you in the right hand corner. Collect a piece of the map. First piece of the map has been found. Continue and find the next. And we want to get as much juice as possible. So the juice we can use to upgrade our abilities. So you get it from chests. It's this, uh... And I do have a torch. I just don't want to make it too obvious where I am. But I'll, I'll put it on. I do find my th things a bit... Okay, so we've got my amulets. I can hold a stack of amulets. That's kind of the specialty. Now, each ranged weapon has a different ammo type. you got special weapon ammo. You've got handgun ammo. So I will go handgun because generally people don't use handguns. Like so it's called pink F. I am talking a lot, but it is what it is. Uh, can I get a pistol? So there's a nail gun. I haven't tried the nail gun. So that's special ammo, I think. So let's grab the special ammo. Let's try it, special ammo. Let's try it, this one. Nail gun. So the aiming and all that's pretty good. Not too janky. Pretty reasonable. I kind of want the strengths of the game. So let's upgrade my shield. And then I'll activate a shield. Drop a shield. Pick up. Shield. And then let's go. Now, if you jump in a car, the demon can see where you are. So it's not worthwhile doing that. Depending on how far away you are. So you open up your map. They marked it, so Lucky Valley Lodge is where we need to go. That's pretty far away. So honestly, getting in a car is not a big deal. Ah. The driving's pretty reasonable. Again, it's not like the maps are ginormous. So, I mean, they are big. They're not too crazy. Uh, the car can be possessed by the demon, and then you kicked out of it, and they can try and drive and run you over. So, probably better I don't go too close to my teammates, but it's sort of lucky that I watch. That'll do, actually. So, they're marking supply crates, and that is really good. So, it's basically done so that everyone gets upgrades and we can get stronger. And I hold a lot of shields, so it's worthwhile for me to try and get as many. Upgrades for melee. Melee is just the given. You need to have melee. Every build relies around, revolves around melee. So, but I will do another shield just because it's kind of a thing. Okay, so that's an enemy. So they're glowing red. So that's nice. That they're... So there's finishes, combat finishes. So you, if you stagger the enemy, they have a stagger bar. Then you can do, you know, that big stack of damage. Sure has a kick to it. So now we got plenty of that. So I'm gonna chuck one more on shield. That got two. So whenever I use a shield amulet, it gives shield to everyone else as well. So it's very helpful. Our matches are good for lighting now fires to reduce fear. My fear is quite high. Well played. Yes, yes, yes. Two minutes. So you just gotta keep an eye on that purple bar below my health. My health. Okay, 
Okay. Okay, so now we've got... Oh, he doesn't have an upgrade. Uh, the knife is actually really, 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 really good. So it attacks so quickly the enemy can't counter it. You have the Ouch. final piece of the map, revealing the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian dagger. They are key to your success. So that's a possessed enemy. So that's the actual other opposition player controlling. Them. So this one is very strong. Bats and bloody bomber. You think you can kill me? Okay, so one of the things you need to do when someone kaputskis is to collect their soul. Now let's just collect that. And the handgun ammo. Um, can we click this soul or the why is it glowing? Did you already grab it? Jesus! Okay, so let's get some more melee, because that's always helpful, and some more fear. Not fear, health. Health! Okay, where did they go? Okay, let's run. So now we gotta go to collect the dagger or the pages. And for some reason, we split up. For reasons I can't explain. So that's a sh like a fear shock thing. Uh oh, that's not good news. All right, that's not good news. Not good news at all. So now we need to um, resurrect our teammates, and uh, I'm surrounded. Great, great. This is going great. Let's use some shield. So when you get full fear, okay, this is uh, not good, this is not good at all. Uh, you can dodge with X, just got to be careful with your stamina. The group has roused the lost pages of the Necronomicon, transmitting a psychic wave to all corrupted souls. And if they hit you while you're healing, you're done. I'm done. Alright, so they put a lot of points into their possessed unit being strong, because they are really strong. Sorry, let me just adjust the audio. I'm dying, so let's just, let's just keep it like that for... The, yeah, we'll accept that. I'll just turn the sound off because one of the problems the game has is there's a ringing sound. Can I turn it off? Because god damn, it's horrible. So it has this ringing sound whenever you're you're dying, which is not good. So let's turn that down. Okay, let's change to this guy. So the matches do rely... Okay, so the Evil Dead, the game... The team, you have to stick together. I think this is a good thing and it also a punishing thing as well. You have to stick together. And in this match, everyone went off and did their own thing. One guy came with me, sort of, and if you're just 1v1, one person gets possessed, you're in trouble. If you're just on your own, you get possessed, they can just make you drop all your items. Or, I don't make you drop, you make you shoot all your bullets. Run you off into the middle of nowhere. It's very difficult. You have to manage the light. So the fear, I didn't manage my fear well enough. That was a big problem there. 
but the higher you fear, the more damage you take. It depends. Most of the time. Though. But it just makes your character less effective. And the constant ringing is really annoying. So they should turn off the ringing. That's something they still haven't changed, which is just disappointing. Because it's that tinnitus ringing, ringing, so it's like, it's not good. So let's see how long this person survives before they get blood skied. So you have light attacks, heavy attacks, dodge. And now there's a possessed unit coming in to attack. You have characters specialized in range, melee specialized characters, and then leaders specialized in aura and healers. So we don't even have a proper healer. So I'm I'm support, but I'm support with shield. So maybe better pay a healer. But again, if everyone sticks together, I can give them shields all the time. So it's that's kind of my, the whole point of my character. Uh, the matches are quite long, so you have a fair bit of time to get all the pieces. See if you can come and save my. Save me! Come on, Ash. Oh my goodness. So they set traps. The Kandarian Demon. You can summon big your mini boss dudes. And then, you know, summon a big final boss one. They can be very difficult to deal with. The lightning one in particular is brutal. The skeletons are annoying at times. All of them can be tough to deal with depending on what skill tree. Because again, the Kandarian Demon has a skill tree as well. So you have four different kinds. Now they added an additional version. Oh, different type of demon, which is the witch. Yeah, that's me. Um, it's over. So that's their boss dude right there. That's actually the... Of that particular brand of demon, that's the, the most powerful unit he can summon. So we didn't stick together. So that's why we lost. If you have failed to seal the breach, I fear there is nothing more to say. All hope is lost. So every match, I want to show you real quick. Every match you get XP, and even if you have maxed your character level 25, until of course you get prestige, you can use that XP to level up your other characters. So you can play as your favorite character. Yeah, I'm not even in the session. Just give me a second. I'll show you. This is one thing that wasn't explained very well in the, honestly, in the tutorial. So I can go, well, I like the look of this blacksmith guy. He seems cool. So I go on him. And I press triangle. And I can spend spirit points to level him up. So I almost leveled him up a whole level there. From one match. So that's pretty good. I've got an, it takes a bit longer to level up, but look at that guy. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. I did get the season pass version. I don't know why. Honestly. It's a bit silly. Alright, let's search for another match. So yeah, you, um, sometimes if you have a favorite character and everyone else grabs it instead of you, that's the same old story in a lot of multiplayer games. You can be annoyed by that. If you're leveling one up, you've got to have a couple of different characters you're leveling up. So I did start with ranged, so I focused on using a shotgun and just doing unbelievable amounts of damage. And then I moved to support and then warrior. My warrior isn't lit maxed, so it could be better. Uh, I haven't played in quite a while, but the game seems pretty much the same. <laughs> um, the performance has always been good. This is a PS5 version, so there is PS5, PS4. Uh, graphics look great. If anything, I mean, the use of darkness to evoke fear is a big part of the game, So, but it kind of detracts away from the fact that, you know, it is a good-looking game. But there are maps that are set in different times, so we do have variation in weather, uh, some snow, you have uh, twilight, so you can have it lighter, which I think I hope I get a twilight match if we can get one. Uh, it doesn't carry you through matches, so once you finish a match, it boots you out, and then you have to search for a new one, which... I know Call of Duty does that, and then again, they're dealing with a lot more players. But I'm not a huge fan of that. I do prefer continuous lobbies. Let's see, here we go. Because then you get to know the other players with you. But again, I can see how if you're in a, a team, and we say in this case, you get, we get slaughtered because we didn't stick together. 
Will we learn and actually stick together next time? Who knows? So I'll go as Scotty Boy here because he's much more simple. And we've got a level 25 healer, so that's absolutely fantastic. So we got two warriors, me and Henry. And we'll see if they're a leader, the other one. I'd like if they were a leader. I need you to swear that you won't leave me alone. The fear warrior. So we've got three warriors and a healer. So Mia Allen with her fear abilities gets stronger the more scared she is and has like a rage mode thing where she's immune to fear and immune to possession but maxes her fear out and then it goes down. So let's see how this battle goes and which map we get more time. Hopefully it's a twilight, 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 twilight. The game looks re looks really good. I feel like it could take more you know advantage of that. Um, we do have the the desert map they did add, which has the big castle, which is quite interesting. Again, I hope I get that map too. That'd be nice. You can't uh, vote on maps. It's all random. So again, unless you're in a private match, you can select the map. This is Professor Raymond Novi. So here we are. Okay, that's good news. I can never make amends for the. Oh, we're in the same map again. Oh. I've devised a method to halt its spread. If you're hearing this, follow. So you got to make sure to mark. So, all the matters is melee. If I get this guy's me melee to max, and then his health to max, we're all good. Of a map them to the of when you have your torch on, it highlights You'll need them. our chests, and our collectible items and things. So here we go, we gotta get this one. Your group has found the first hidden piece of the what map. is that? Keep moving, and find another. Like, syringes! Okay, that's very interesting. Boom! So we've already got some good... Something here you should see. You see something? Okay. Uh, you can sprint a lot. Don't worry too much about that. I'll turn my torch off. So we're going to the Lucky Valley Lodge again. Let's look for chests. The chests tend to be... You know, the one outside couple inside downstairs you can hear them the chest sound so there's a chest there okay so I could go with you have obtained another section of the map so this is a similar speed to the knife so this is fine I'm more than happy to use this weapon oh, he can vault uh, I want to get the matches uh, I'll grab some handgun ammo I'm really taking my time here. I want an amulet. There we go. So while support can share amulets, the other classes can't. Unless they've got a special ability for it. I've got to go downstairs. And I've got to find myself a handgun. There's not a huge ammo pool, so it is worthwhile on some characters to get more. More ammo. Max ammo. Boom, melee's done. So now melee's done, I should focus... I can go with maybe one on shield, but maybe better just to do health. So for the Kandarian Demon, the enemies get stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, only Ash can pick up the chainsaw, of course. Uh, fly 666, there's a back up that way. Dang it, I don't have any matches. <laughs> I don't need matchsticks. Uh, every second that they spend not attacking you, <laughs> I mean, they could be collecting infernal orbs so they can summon more powerful demons, but I could do that. I don't really know how um, these syringes would kill a um, skeleton, but you know what it is. It's what it is. <laughs> Logic is not a big deal. So we have to go to Flight 66, which is quite a ways from here. So better off getting in the car. The demon's already seen where we are, so it doesn't matter. So, I could wait for them, but it actually might be better just to go to the flight 66, 666. Because there's still another page, another piece of the map to collect afterwards. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. 
stuff. The speed is less. Damage is better. I oh, know. I'll just keep that mark. Oh, okay, you're right before. You can't spam markers, which is good. Oh, I need a pistol. So can I get a pistol? Hey, guys. I finally got some light over here. Okay, let's go. So my fear is getting quite high, so I do need to find light, and that's why you have matches, because you can light up little lights in the environment. Or you can go indoors. Your group now holds the final piece of the map. The lost pages of okay, the so Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger are within reach. My plan will only succeed with these items. So the mount's That's pretty good. Life. Good damage, but not as fast. So I find... F Ooh, damage, but very slow. So one of the things you look at... Is speed is really important for me. Uh, dismemberment's good, chop off arms. Balance bar's great for staggering, say, boss dudes. But because this guy's a melee character and he's got a huge amount of melee bonuses... Just hitting the enemy heaps and heaps of times is great. And one of the things you can do with the weapon I've got, and with the knife as well, is you hit so often, you stagger them, and you can just keep them staggered. You just keep them. Okay. So, what is that? Oh, it's a health thing. I should grab that. That's actually really, really important. Uh, how far away is it? So we're going to jump in the car after we get in here. Grab the other two. Okay, enemies are nearby. They usually are loud just because they want to give you that sort of visual audio cue. I always say visual. I always say visual. So the dagger is 200 meters that way. So finishers give you more likely to get item drops. So they'll just keep on. Okay, I want to grab a shield. Stamina is always great. And I'll grab some health. Okay, let's go towards the dagger. Oh, we're sticking together, aren't we? So... So we are in twilight, which is great. So you can actually see. My ability for this guy is a big radial burst. Uh, so let's ignite this actually. You might want to see this. Check your map. So he, she's about to be possessed, which is not good news. She's gone indoors. Okay, now get over here. Get over here. So is that the healer? No. So we're okay now. Fear. So controlling fear. I don't have any shield. My weapon's damage isn't great, but again, it has such great speed. Okay, just get me. So the tree can scare people. And the trap. Okay, let's get in here and get some shit. Not, not bad at all. Uh, I want a pistol, so I'm not going to grab that. I gotta get the recipe. Can't seem to find a decent bloody handgun. Oh well. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Collection of the So they started the collection of the. This represents a grave yeah, yeah, yeah. threat to the evil dead. Be prepared to do battle. So you just got to stay in the zone, and you'll alight as well as. Really, really good idea. The car is I'm um, doing funky things and I'm stuck on it. Can you get off me? Possessed person. So 
So you do want to do your finishes, because while you're doing a finisher, you can't be killed. So it's great just for keeping you immune. Like, basically your invincibility frames come from... So that's my big ability as I do that. So let's grab that. Fear, stamina, uh, fear as well. Just keep pumping fear. So you see it fills up, it's quite slow, you can get abilities to make it go quicker. Uh, keeping the healer alive is absolutely key. I've got a lot of damage reduction, a huge amount of damage reduction, so that's kind of my build. What are the time wise? We're okay, so we'll finish this match. Oh, we'll win this match. I'll show you how what a win looks like, hopefully. So that's a boss dude. So I'll focus on the little guys. Again, you don't want to give them a chance. Okay, so we did the dagger. Uh, and I'm in a touch body. Brilliant idea. So now we need to get in the car. One, two... Where's the other person? Come on! So if I drove away there without that person, we would be in big trouble. Fears up high. Can't be possessed while you're in a car. It's still not good. Uh, the roads are quite narrow, and I cannot see where I am going. Just a second. Okay, just and you, there's no like terrain that's impossible to traverse. So, I mean, in the car maybe, but it's pretty generous to be frank. Like that off-roading there. So the reason why he hasn't possessed us is because possessing the car is quite expensive on the infernal orbs. So it's kind of, it's not worth it, really, unless you can use it to run people over. So my off-road driving is, um, it could be better. I don't want to get this too close, because again, he can use it against us. So he is fine, really. Uh, the game is fun, it is hard work as a team, so you do need a... <laughs> it's really hard work on your own. You have to work as a team. I lost pages of the Necronomicon. Have been <laughs> so stupid. Stabbing the skeletons with a syringe. Okay, so let's grab um, some more shield. Not that I don't have any, but you know, you never know. So when the enemies go red here, there's a skeleton... Uh, ...flute player. It buffs all of them, so you have to find it. The combat's just dodge. You just gotta dodge. Hit and dodge. Okay, I'll switch to the axe, just because it's my special weapon. I do big damage. Dunsies. Huge amounts of damage. It's a bit slower, but I just want to one-shot everything now. Careful of one of the guy's health. So that's the healing ability. I have to... Sorry about that. So it's important that only the supports use the champ collar so it heals everyone. And 
and the enemy possessing a player can be an opportunity to drain their infernal orbs by just doing massive amounts of damage. Survivors now hold the lost pages of the Necronomicon. A world is a step closer to salvation. So he's... Ah, oh, he wants me to use it? Okay. Time to end some dead guys. So now we've got some really Armed powerful weapons. The lost pages in the okay, boss you battle. Must now expel the dark ones from our realm. So this is the second last stage. All you have to do is go here... ...and start killing these demons. Uh, circling them while holding down a button. You just gotta be careful because he can still summon a whole bunch of mobs on you and beat the crap out of you. Uh, do we need anything? Shield, and then we can do range. We're almost maxed. So, having some shield would be nice, but again... We have plenty of time, so we could go grab stuff. So, one of the strategy things is you can just... I want to stick together so we don't... The healer is lagging behind. I don't want to go and engage this without the healer, but... These aren't too difficult. Yeah, let's go. So, you just got to hold triangle. Dodge, you gotta keep moving, so it's be careful, there's this thing they shoot at you that does good damage, so you just gotta be careful. So better off dodging here, dodging here. Um, so there's different phases. So now my fear is too high, so I've gotta be careful, because again, just push through, push through, push through, push through, push through, push through, push through. Staying in these Instability frames is good. So we're almost down to level two. Oh, we're in real trouble. This match is over. We are in real trouble. So the health thing is over there. Way too close. They got way too close to the boss. So we need to just focus, really. So the problem is, if someone is downed, they don't get rezzed in that final phase. So let's just quickly... I just gotta get this done. Just have to get it done. So when you when you clear that, you do get a good little buffer here. And now we just have to protect. So we go from attacking to protecting. I never did get a handgun, but that's okay. So now we just clean house. So we keep an eye out, try and find the the flute player. Because they're a limited range. Our damage is pretty good, so we're looking pretty good here. At this point, we actually can just leave and, like, just hide. So let's just spam circle. Finish him! Easy peasy. So he has to attack the book, or kill us, and he's only got 30 seconds. Finish him!
So we got one dead. And we did it! Oh yeah! That's how it's done. Yeehaw! So it is a lot of combat. Like I did a, plenty of damage, killed a whole bunch of dudes. If you're hearing my voice, no range, I didn't shoot any bullets. Demon and saved our world. And they got plenty of damage dealt. You come again? You're dead. Wait, the rift is one way, right? So after every match, you get calculated spirit points based on how many enemies you kill, and this is the stuff you use to level up. So, and you get a bonus every time you level your user thing up. Not the thing, so. Scotty. Okay, so I didn't level up. But I can use the points to level up. But yeah. I mean, that's... That's pretty much... That's the game. It's quite a good game. I, I'm... I think... That it encourages team play is... A good thing. If anything, a limiting factor when you're playing with bots. Because they, they do hover over you, so it's not terrible or anything. But if anything, it could have used like an actual story mode... I feel like with the nature of combat, you could do that. I mean, they've got a lot of missions, and they're basically story things, but... It could have gone another direction. I'm, I'm, you know... Lamenting. So that's enough for two. So let's get... Maximum health's really great idea. Uh, any more damage taken from possessed bombs units? Possessed basic unit? Uh, dismemberment damage? Blunt weapons. I'm not going to worry about blunt weapons. Hmm. Oh, fear resistance would be great. If anything, we just need damage resistance, so we'll just chuck one on. Possessed elite units. Basic units are really, they're kind of the most annoying ones. Some cost of dodging. Yeah, let's do that one. So, yeah. Um, this has been the Evil Dead. Um, what, how would I rate the game? I think it's. You know, 7 out of 10, easy. It's just... You know, it's quite a long game. So, as in, each online match can be quite long. Unless you get obliterated. So... I don't know, I feel like... It's a bit more complicated at times than other similar games. So, we're talking competing with, you know... Dead by Daylight. Is it Dead by Daylight? Yeah, Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight's the main competition, and that's done such a good job with, you know, getting villains of different of different movies, and its fan base are really strong. So is, this game looks better, obviously, but I don't know. It doesn't hop in as play. It's just a bit bigger map, a little bit more busy work here and there to get ready for each combat encounter. Really, you've got to get, you know, you find the chests and get your upgrades beforehand. Be prepared. So you need time to prepare. I don't know, I feel, some, I feel like if it, it was 8 player, maybe you'd be too powerful. But then again, you could just up the Kandarian Demon. So it's kind of like, I wish it was, you had more players in there. Because 4, I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting game. I feel like it's placed where it is for reasons. And there's still people playing it. So that's, again, a good sign. But... Yeah, there's something something about it. It's not drawing people in. Maybe it was priced. This okay, this is a really important point. Uh it was not a full price 
not a seventy, not a six, not a sixty dollar American game, but a forty dollar American game, I think. Oh, I'm trying to compare to my Australian prices, but it was fifty five bucks, I think sixty bucks Australian. So you're not the same price as, well, Dead by Daylight with all expansions, maybe, maybe without them, not so much. So if anything, the what they failed to do is market and positioning themselves with a you know a free trial or a a demo or a free you know free weekend or anything like that so they could they that's what they really needed to do but because of their association with the franchise the actual license holders i think they were forced in a position to charge maybe a tiny bit too much for the game i mean it looks good it was you know one less cup one less map at release and a couple less characters but not that much different I don't know. I just feel like it didn't capture the audience. So is it, it has a lot to do with the Evil Dead franchise being more niche than than Ash Ash Williams not really having the wider appeal that say Dead by Daylight can with multiple of different villains from different movies, so they can capture multiple niches and combine them into one one game. And then you know Friday the Thirteenth similar, but sort of had more of a mass appeal because it was. Again, more players and just a different, simpler game. It's tough. These multiplayer, there's a few, you know, that, so it's not like it's a, and there's always new coming out. So it's a tough, tough place to get up your market share, survival horror multiplayer fun games. I mean, it's, there's always new ones. They're always trying to be the scariest. This one's got one of the best graphics. I mean, there's no... I don't think there's any arguing there. <laughs> but it just hasn't captured the market. And I think it's a good game. But it is... You know, it, it, there is prep set up. So I feel like any game that has set up, too much set up, can sort of be a bit too long. So again, if you watch this video to, to this point, then you're in the minority. <laughs> you're in, the, you're in the, the very small group. Because just me playing through a match can be a bit too much it's <laughs> just it's a bit too much a bit too much work so it's not quick and easy and fun and happy and you move on and oh yeah then the, you're on the next one it's you know there is work there is movement there's running there's managing your fear getting the matchsticks putting the campfires on keeping an eye on your teammates protecting your teammates they get attacked you go back and you help them checking the chest checking for the chest looking for the ammo picking up the ammo finding a better weapon is that sort of this better weapon or what speed what matters What's your character doing? What what sort of character are you? You heal, you gotta pick up all the heals, someone's gonna drop the heals for you. It's just a bit maybe too much work for the average survival horror game multiplayer enthusiast. Like if it daunts you in any way, then maybe we've got troubles. But no, it's Isn't she beautiful? But yeah, that's... It's interesting. You can make a quality game and then not be able to see the success maybe that they envisioned. But they still did that, you know, extra stuff. Still got your add-ons. Still got... Oh, well, I'll cancel. Still got all the extra stuff. Still got missions. Still got exploring the world. I don't really feel too encouraged to explore the world though. It doesn't really. I mean, during the matches, you just you focus on your objectives, really. I don't know. The exploring gives you chests, which is a good thing, but it kind of feels like you've got a limited amount of time before the Kandarian Demon becomes so powerful that the game becomes hard to win. Which, in that last match, it was pretty powerful. He summoned a heap of skeletons and the boss one. But our healer just kept it in the right spots, the heal ability. And then I just managed to stay alive a couple of times with barely any health whatsoever. Dodge out of combat. Heal. And then get back into combat. And my heavy attack was doing a radial thing. Hit all the enemies around me. So that was a massive part of the victory there. And everyone just cracked in. So, you know, there's heavy combat. There's lots of combat. So, I don't know. If the other ones... There's a lot less combat in lots of the other survival horror games that are... You know, Dead by Daylight... 
you know, you're not engaging in combos and dodging and attacking. Like, I mean, you're dodging, but, you know, using a, uh, the terrain and using your obstacles and stuff, but... I don't know, I feel like it's just, yeah, a little bit too complex, maybe. I mean, why it hasn't succeeded as well as they hoped, or as well as I hoped. Anytime I get a game, I, you know, hope that it does well, as any normal player of games would. So, yeah, that's enough. I think I'll, that's more than enough. <laughs> no, I showed two good matches. One, one match that wasn't so good, and then one where we won. So I'm happy to get a win. Always happy to get a win with my boy Scotty. And you can... Okay, okay, we'll change. Let's change it. Yeah, how beautiful is that? No, no, no. We'll switch to um, the new character lady. So yeah, um, if you see the game on discount, you know, 50%, maybe 30% discounts, consider playing it. It's a quality game, it looks great, the world looks great, the environment, the, the day, it can rain, it can snow, you know, different lighting conditions, so that, but the world looks, I mean, sometimes it's especially dark, and that's fine too, because it's got to have the scary moments, I do prefer Twilight. But, yeah, it's a quality game with quality combat. I don't... I can solve all the mysteries of the universe as to why it hasn't been a massive success, but people are still playing it. still alive. Um, Evil Dead the game. A quality game. Needs a little more love. <laughs> From the, the audience. I think the people making it have put plenty of love in there. So, yeah. I don't know. You can't make people love a game. It's just silly. It's the bane of all game reviews. You want them to love it. But you can't force it. Alright. It's been Frosty Fire 10. Like and subscribe. And put some comments. If you played the game, you considered playing the game but didn't buy it, why did you not buy it? Did you think maybe you get cheaper later or they don't want to play it? People still playing it. You know, I think understanding the trepidation, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm usually quite cautious with purchases, but I've been, you know. But it was at the right timing. I was waiting for it to come out. I watched the TV show. So I did watch the the most recent TV show, The Asterisk is Evil Dead. So that, you know, like I, and, you know, watch the movie. So it's the, the kind of fit in place for me so the, the pieces fell into place so if you had, didn't watch the show maybe again the appeal is just like oh just another niche horror game but yeah um, tell me what you think tell me what you think come on and then I'll respond <laughs> I'll try to be nice yeah so first if I turn like and subscribe oh oh let me cough um yeah evil dead the game quality quality horror game quality niche horror game um i'll see you next time bye bye what's the music that oh. here's johnny all right bye bye